dawn on the Mall, but today the street cleaners have company. Between the plane trees and St James's Park, they slowly emerge from their synthetic cocoons. Just trying to secure that space, you, even if you try to turn around for one minute, there was somebody trying to jump into that space and, yeah, yeah, it's quite, quite competitive. These are the hardcore royalists who planned their strategy with military precision to thank the Queen for ruling Britannia. She puts the great in Great Britain and there's not that much good about Britain at the minute but the monarchy really do make it Great Britain and we, we should be so proud of her because, you know, she's our Queen and, and you know, we just should cherish her. And they've just 11 hours to go before the carriage passes. With the select few invited to the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral, the wait is shorter, but the sentiment shared. It's a wonderful celebration of an extraordinary woman who, I think, uh, exemplifies constancy, discretion and duty. Isn't it just going to be the most wonderful day yet another? Outside the cathedral, the crowds thicken. Anticipation builds. Those with the highest vantage point are the first to spy the Queen's arrival. In the sea of Brits, a strong showing for the Commonwealth and even further afield. I'm from Australia. Um, I've come specially for the Jubilee weekend and I'm so emotional, I can hardly talk. It's wonderful. I can't praise you enough for the way it's all been conducted and the British people, uh, and we too love her in Australia. And there'll be no republic in Australia while she's queen. She's very special and very elegant. And uh, I think uh, many people love her in this country. Further down the route at Westminster, they press against the barriers. So for children without shoulders to sit on, it's up periscopes. And these are side. And these are side. They come from the mansion house, from the uh, residence, from the movie book. This coach party of 42 northern Germans stumbled upon the event. Who needs a tour of grand buildings when you can witness history taking shape before you? What time did you get out here? What do you want to see today? When the Queen arrives, it's a narrow window of opportunity. TV interviews can wait. In my family, we were brought up with all the stories of the previous kings and queens and so on. And I think in today's day, it's diluted a bit. It's lovely for them to know, you know, yeah. what, what Britain's about. Yeah, and, they can, and they can look back as well when they're, when they're older. And they can see when I was little, I went down and I saw the Queen on her Diamond Jubilee. And, you know, it's something we can pass on to my grandchildren and even they can pass on to their grandchildren. And that's the motivating factor for many of those that have crammed into the streets along the route to place themselves on Britain's historical timeline, even if that means the briefest glimpse of the carriage as it goes by. And as the Queen made her way back to Buckingham Palace, the crowds try to keep up, surging down the Mall. Lines of police preventing a full-scale charge. The roar of the flypass turning heads and camera lenses skywards. Amid the delight of the sheer scale of the spectacle, disappointment the Queen witnessed the crowds without her husband.
I feel sad for the Queen because I kept thinking it would be nice if she had him there to support her, really. We had a magnificent time. It's been a great day and it's just a pleasure to be here, part of history for me. Oh, it's been fantastic. It's been really, really good. It's a once in a lifetime. What, have you, what do you think? Did you see the Queen? You saw the Queen today. You just saw the Queen on the balcony, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Very lucky. Take... <laughs> I think it's been a really great day. I'm 80 years of age and I've been standing since quarter to ten and I feel as fit as a fiddle really? and it had a really good time. As the flags were packed away and memories stored on thousands of mobile phones, the umbrellas were unfurled for the journey home. The exhilaration of a shared experience, one that'll echo down the generations. Robert Nisbet, Sky News.